There is a place so far away that the light from it has been traveling toward us for over 13 billion years. A place where galaxies appear as faint whispers of a time so ancient, it feels impossible. When NASA pointed its most powerful eyes toward this dark frontier, what they found didn't just change science. It forced scientists to question reality itself. This is a journey to the farthest places we can see and to mysteries we may never fully understand. Humanity has created telescopes and spacecraft that don't just look across space. They look back in time. They reveal stars being born, galaxies colliding, worlds freezing, and forces pulling the universe in directions we never expected. And in this video, you will see everything from the James Webb Space Telescope uncovering the universe's first galaxies, to Hubble capturing stars older than imagination, to new horizons discovering frozen worlds at the edge of the sun's reach, to Voyager drifting into the unknown darkness between the stars, to the shocking mystery scientists called Dark Flow, something that may exist beyond the observable universe itself. Before we dive in, if you're fascinated by the universe, its beauty, its mysteries, and its secrets, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video. Your support helps us bring more cosmic stories to the world. All right, let's begin. The James Webb Space Telescope, Humanity's New Eyes. In December 2021, Humanity launched the most powerful space telescope ever built, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. What makes Webb special is not just its size, but the kind of light it sees. You and I see visible light. Webb sees infrared light, the heat of the universe. Why is this important? Because the earliest galaxies are so old and so far away that their light has been stretched stretched by the expansion of the universe itself. By the time that ancient light reaches us, it has shifted into infrared. Webb was built specifically to see that old light. It can see through dust clouds, through cosmic fog, through the shadows of newborn stars and exploding giants. It reveals what no other telescope can. Its golden mirror, made of 18 hexagons, is nearly three times the size of Hubble's and gathers six times more light. This telescope is a time machine, and when it opened its eyes for the first time, the universe showed us wonders no human had ever seen. Webb's first look at creation. The cosmic cliffs revealed a star-forming region seven light years tall, a place where new suns ignite like sparks from a cosmic forge. The Southern Ring Nebula revealed a dying star's last breath, and a secret second star hiding inside the cloud of gas. The Tarantula Nebula exposed thousands of young stars that had been invisible before Webb. Stefan's Quintet, Five Galaxies Colliding, showed the raw violence of the cosmos. And then, there was Webb's first deep field. A tiny piece of sky, no bigger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, containing thousands of galaxies. Some of the light in that image began its journey over 13 billion years ago. Think about that. Before Earth existed, before the Sun was born, before the Milky Way had fully formed, that light was already traveling toward us. Webb didn't just show us the universe. It showed us the beginning of time. Hubble, the telescope that changed everything. Before Webb, there was Hubble. Launched in 1990, Hubble became our greatest window into the cosmos for more than 30 years. It captured the dramatic deaths of stars, the births of new ones, and the swirling dance of galaxies. The Butterfly Nebula revealed a star dying so violently that it expelled gas at hundreds of thousands of miles per hour. The Pismus 24 cluster showed stars so massive that scientists had to rethink what stars are capable of. The ancient cluster Palomar 12 offered a glimpse into the early universe stars nearly as. Beyond our galaxy, Hubble revealed the Sombrero Galaxy, with a black hole one billion times the mass of the Sun. It revealed NGC 1052 DF2, a galaxy with almost no dark matter, something that shouldn't exist. The Coma Cluster showed over 1,000 galaxies in a single gravitational web. Hubble discovered Icarus, a star 9 billion light-years away, 
and then Arundel, the farthest star ever seen, a tiny spark from the universe's youth. And Hubble helped us see HD1, one of the earliest galaxies ever detected, formed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. Hubble changed everything we thought we knew. The Kuiper Belt, the frozen frontier. Beyond Neptune lies a vast ring of icy worlds, the Kuiper Belt. This region is 20 times wider than the asteroid belt and may contain 100 times more material. It is the frozen remains of the early solar system, untouched for billions of years. Pluto is there, along with Eris, Makemake, and countless smaller worlds drifting in darkness at minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Even farther out, possibly halfway to the next star, lies the Oort Cloud, a sphere of icy objects that no spacecraft has ever reached. This is where many comets come from, icy travelers falling inward after millions of years. New Horizons, first to the edge. In 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto. What it found shocked scientists. Pluto wasn't a dead world. It had nitrogen ice plains, mountains of frozen water, a blue hazy atmosphere, signs of activity, and a giant heart-shaped region. For years later, New Horizons visited Arakoth, the most ancient object ever explored. A snowman-shaped world preserved since the birth of the solar system. Voyager, into the unknown. In 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2. Today, they are the farthest human-made objects in existence. They were designed to fly past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, but they did much more. Voyager 1 discovered volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io. Voyager 2 became the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune. Both revealed storms, moons, and mysteries we never imagined. In 1990, Voyager 1 looked back and captured the pale blue dot, Earth as a tiny speck in a beam of sunlight. Everything humans have ever known, every war, every joy, every moment, on a single pixel. After leaving the planets, the Voyagers reached the edge of the sun's influence. They crossed the termination shock. They entered the turbulent heliosheath. And then, they crossed the heliopause, the border between our solar system and interstellar space. Voyager 1 entered in 2012. Voyager 2 followed in 2018. They are now traveling through the galaxy itself. They will continue until their power fades in the 2030s and then drift for billions of years. The shape of the universe. What shape is the universe? Is it flat, curved, infinite? Evidence suggests it may be nearly flat. But strange patterns in the cosmic background radiation suggest there may be more to the story. And then, there is dark flow. Dark flow, something beyond the edge. In 2008, NASA scientists discovered something shocking. Galaxy clusters, separated by billions of light years, were all moving in the same direction, as if pulled by something outside the observable universe. They called it dark flow. Some scientists believe this motion is caused by something beyond our universe. Perhaps massive structures, perhaps other universe bubbles, perhaps something older than our own cosmos. Others believe it may be an illusion, a mistake in the data, but the mystery remains. If dark flow is real, it suggests the universe we see is only a tiny part of an even larger reality, perhaps even an infinite multiverse. Closing summary, from Webb's infrared eyes, to Hubble's cosmic portraits, to new horizons at the frozen edge, to voyagers drifting into the eternal dark, to the mysteries of dark flow, humanity has pushed farther than ever before, and yet, Every discovery opens a new question. Every answer reveals a deeper mystery. The universe is larger, stranger, and more magnificent than we can imagine. And we are only at the beginning of understanding it. Final lines. We live on a tiny blue world orbiting an ordinary star. Yet we have built machines that can see the dawn of time. We have reached the limits of the sun's influence. We have glimpsed galaxies from the universe's childhood. 
We have asked questions about what lies beyond everything we can see. We stand at the edge of the observable universe, and the universe stands before us, full of secrets. The edge is not the end. It is only the beginning. 